In this video, we're going to use the sine rule to find an unknown angle. The problem that we're presented with in this case is that we have a triangle. Um, I'll just draw it like that. I'm just drawing it a pro uh, not to scale and not with the correct angles because we don't need anything correct. We're given two sides. 25.4 uh, and this is centimeters and 33.47 centimeters and we're given an angle 100 degrees okay now and we're asked to find this angle here the triangle is labeled X Y Z so we're after angle Z now we can use the sign rule in this case because we have three knowns and more importantly we have a known angle opposite a known side and the unknown angle opposite a known side which means we can use the sign rule to find the angle. Now the way we would do this is we'd have, because we're looking for an angle, we use the sign rule in this form. Sine Z over side Z equals sine Y over y, side y. And when we put the numbers into our equations, we have sine z divided by 25.4 centimeters equals sine of 100 degrees divided by 33.7 centimeters. Now we want to get sine z by itself, so we multiply by 25.4 both sides. So we end up with sine z equals 25.4 times sine of 100 degrees divided by 33.7. And then to find z, we go z equals sine to the minus 1 of our answer. 25.4 times sine 100 degrees divided by 33.7 and that would give us Z. So putting that into our calculator would give putting this into our calculator we have 25.4 times the sine of 100, which equals, then we divide that by 33.7, which gives us 0.74, and then we take the inverse of that. That gives us 47.92 degrees. Again, we were going to one decimal point place in the question, so 47.9 degrees would be a reasonable place. And that's how we use the sine rule to find the unknown angle. 